I'm glad that you could be with us for another special edition of Bible Alive. Um, if you've been watching the last couple of weeks, I know that you've been blessed. We're finding out how health um, is in the Bible and how it's very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, with me, I've got the same guest I've had the last couple of weeks. Danny, glad you're yep. here again. Thanks, Dwight. It's been a blessing. We've been having a great time doing this. Yeah. And uh, I know that the, that the viewers are learning a lot. I'm learning a lot mm. in this whole thing. So um, I guess you can teach an old dog new tricks, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's great to have you here. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, uh, before we get going, I want to just mention again, for people that don't know, you are from California, for, is right. from Lodi. Yes. And you have a ministry called Modern Manna, which obviously you're in the health ministry. Right. Been in, for quite a while now, since about 1994, we started Modern Manna. And, okay. You know, I did radio for years. I, I, I did so many different things on health and that are been rich and fulfilling and getting a lot of uh, this message out to the public, especially in my area. But we did radio for 12 years on a show called Healthline. Okay. I did a you know TV series that I've been doing now called Adventures in Health. And we have a health and healing crusade we do every year in Lodi that's drawn thousands and thousands of people. We've done the cooking schools, we did evangelism, and, and now we do Bella Vida Lifestyle Center where people come and live with me for 10 days. And they go through a, a healing wellness program that's been a great blessing. Right. Draws people all over the world. So well, I've been to your place and, I, and I've been through. You took me through Bella Vida, right? And uh, you know it's quite a process. And there's been people truly that you know we know it's God's the true healer, mm -hmm. but if we do the things that we're supposed mm -hmm. to, and it's not just diet. I mean, you have told exactly. me that it's also if you hold bitterness. Mm -hmm. or anger, mm -hmm. you know, stress is a killer today. We all know that. Exactly. So um, you put them through a 10-day process and... Right. We teach them, you know, what's important too is we emphasize the eight laws of health. And okay. when they graduate, they actually get a diploma that they've okay. went through the course on the eight laws of health. But also we deal with the mind. Okay. That's very important, as yep. you're saying, because a lot of people come with baggage there sure. also. And then thirdly and most important is the spiritual connection with Jesus Christ. Yes. So we try to align them in all three areas. Now their problem may be wrong diet. Yeah. Their problem may be bitterness and anger, but yes. many times they're not connected to the Lord and that's why the other two aren't in sync. And that's all part of the health message, not just everything, right. it's not just diet of what we put in our mouths, it's what we harbor in the mind. Big, you know, there's a there's a statement written by Ellen G. White okay. that I found. One that, of my favorite authors. Yeah, mine too. <clears throat> and she says that nine tenths of the diseases from which men suffer have their origin in the mind. So that means that now when I do Bella Vida and I get a group of ten coming in, I figure nine out of the ten may have problems that are originating from their mind and and. I questioned that at first. I said, yeah. is this really right. true? Yeah. But the more I do in the work of natural healing with people that come as guests, I find it to be absolutely true. Yeah, the mind so, is powerful. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll do a yeah. show on that. I, I'd like to do a show on yeah. that. Well, great. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and for those of you that are, that are watching, um, now would be a good time to, to, I'd like to put up your address mm -hmm. oh, sure. and your website. Mm -hmm. And they can see that right now as we're talking. But... I want to make sure that, that they, if they have any questions or if they know somebody needs to go to contact you, I think that would be good. I also do free <clears throat> nutritional co consultations. Okay. So people can email me at modernmana.org. Okay. And they, can, they can write me. And I even set up phone appointments that if they're having problems, we do it no charge. Okay. Well, that's a true ministry then. Thank you. you know, it's on my that's heart about. to help people. Yeah. Amen. You know. Okay. Well, now what we want to do is we want to start back for those of you that haven't been with us it's mm -hmm. been exciting make sure you get it on our website um, you can get these dvds you can watch them on the internet for free so um you can kind of get caught up but each each mm -hmm. um program that we're doing it's a standalone but i want you to get in your bibles we always go into the bible make the bible come alive so if you go into uh, numbers i want to start in numbers yeah. and we're going to we're going to talk about that we're going to share into daniel yes, again i love that or not again but start out daniel so turn into uh, numbers right now numbers chapter 11 we'll go there and um there's something i want to start with there and then we'll go into daniel right and before we do we want to have prayer um we never want to open the scriptures really without prayer mm -hmm. so um Hey, Danny, would you have prayer for us sure, right now? Absolutely. Okay. Father, thank you for the opportunity of, 
of these shows airing on media Amen. to reach the masses of the people and, and also for the free downloads that Remnant is offering. I pray today that the Bible will come alive in the area of health Amen. and nutrition along with the gospel of salvation in Jesus Christ and that you would bless us with the presence of your Holy Spirit. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I hope you're there. Numbers chapter 11. And I just want to make a, a, a point here mm -hmm. that we were in, talking the last time we were on the air. But in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, mm -hmm. Paul said that these very problems that the uh, Israelites had, the Hebrews had, were because of their diet. <laughs> and he said there are examples <laughs> even for our day. And we talked right. about that. Okay. And, and actually in 1 Corinthians 10, it gives references back to Numbers chapter 11. Right. And um, the one thing that it says, it said they, that be careful not to tempt the, the Lord, Lord in 1 Corinthians mm -hmm. 10. And then we go back here to, uh, to Numbers chapter 11. And even in my Bible, in my Bible, it says Israel complains about the food. Which meant as murmuring in my margin. Murmuring, murmuring and complaining. They're complaining. And yeah. we talked about that. They had the man and God gave them the best diet the to best. clear their minds up so that they could be ready to receive the very things, not just for themselves, right. but so that they could share with others. That's what Amen. it's about. It's about sacrificing self that others we esteem better than ourselves. Well, anyways, the one thing that I want to just hit here is that when those Israelites were complaining, I mean, God gave them the best food, and they start complaining, and God um, said, okay, I'm going to send fiery serpents. Mm -hmm. And they were, the people were dying mm -hmm. from these serpents, and they had, to, they had to make this, if they wanted to be okay, they had to come up with this serpent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, this serpent was a, was a, a, a brazen serpent made mm -hmm. out of brass. And, um, you know, and we're going to go into Daniel, but mm -hmm. I have did a search. I've done this for a number of years, and I don't want to get into this, but it's just something that if, if you viewers out there really want to get in and study, brass has a, 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 a parallel with self. Mm -hmm. Because... The mirrors, you know, if you go into the mm -hmm. sanctuary message, the, the mirrors of the women. Mm -hmm. And what do we do with the mirror? We look at ourselves. Mm -hmm. The mirrors of the women were given, and they gave them um, openly and um, from themselves. They weren't made to give them. They, you know, they were, they were giving them up of their own free will, and that made the laver, which mm -hmm. represents baptism in mm -hmm. the sanctuary, which means dying to self. Right. Okay, now that, those are brass. Mm -hmm. And if you start looking brass, you know, Daniel had, uh, uh, well, the king Nebuchadnezzar had a statue mm -hmm. that he dreamed about, and there was the thighs of what? Brass. Brass, mm -hmm. which is our lower passions. Right. There's a lot about diet there that you can look into, Very which important. I know you know, and I want the, yeah. the viewers to understand that it's all through the scriptures, even with mm -hmm. certain metals sometimes what they mean. Well, this, this serpent was made of brass, and they had to put this up on a pole, and they said they had to look and live. Now, you go back to Genesis, and it was the serpent that beguiled Eve. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, you won't surely die. And, and really the fruit wasn't a bad piece of fruit. It was just mm -hmm. God said, don't eat of that fruit. Right. He was testing them. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> now they had to look at this brazen serpent. And I think it's more than, you know, that it's more than just, why did they come up with a serpent? Why not a sheep? Right. You know, why not something else? But mm -hmm. for me, when I've studied that out, it's that they had to look at that and say, you know what? This has been a problem from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and they had to look at that and say, you know what, we've messed up because of our, our stomachs, our appetites. The very first sin you would mention was Eve mm -hmm. with appetite. Mm -hmm. Jesus' first temptation appetite. was appetite. Right. And we go all through the scriptures, and I think they looked at that and realized that, you know what, somehow God is trying to get us to overcome. Mm -hmm this very thing called mm -hmm. appetite mm -hmm. and passions. It's not mm -hmm. just food, so that we might be prepared for right. what's about to take place. And right. we've got these last days. And so anyways, I wanted to mention yeah. that because it's important because God is trying to get us prepared, and yet he prepared someone in the Bible, mm -hmm. Daniel. And I know that you mm -hmm. want to talk about Daniel, so Yeah, you, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad <clears throat> you brought that up. Um, another book that I like is Councils and Diets and Foods. And there's a statement in here that goes along with what you just said, that Satan's greatest hold on man is in, through the appetite. Yes. And this he seeks to stimulate in every possible way. Mm 